This video is brought to you by HoodBeast.com. Design your own custom hoodies. HoodBeast.com. What's up, everybody? I'm Seth Fowler, and today I'm reviewing the upcoming Triple Black Adidas EQT 9317. Thanks so much for tuning in today, guys. Make sure to give me a follow on Instagram and on Twitter, at RealSethFowler, if you haven't yet. But with all that being said, let's get into it. For those of you living in the United States, Thanksgiving is fast approaching, and that means, of course, on its coattails is Black Friday. As has been the tradition for a long time, Black Friday has been one of the biggest shopping days in the year, at least for the United States. And as sneaker culture has permeated society, of course, you're gonna get some sneaker deals and some crazy releases as well. And besides all the awesome sneaker deals, of course, one of the exciting sneaker releases of the day is the Triple Black Adidas EQT 9317. The EQT 9317 released this year with a huge Boost midsole and quickly became one of Boost Head's favorite sneakers. Some people say it's more comfortable than the Ultra Boost. I don't totally agree, but hey, that's just me. So without further ado, here it is, the Triple Black Adidas EQT 9317. Starting off with the upper, this is already one of my favorite EQT 9317s because it's got a primarily prime knit upper. Even though the shoe is technically a triple black colorway, it still has a black and gray digi camo prime knit pattern. The digi camo adds a little bit of interest to the toe box, which without it wouldn't have been as dimensional. On the medial side of the shoe, you've got these embroidered lines on the toe box to give you a little bit of added stability. I also kind of like that detail. I think it looks really nice. Moving back on the shoe, you've got these three black nylon straps that form the Adidas three stripes and also hold the laces in place. They've also got hints of white with the white stitching, which I thought was an interesting detail. On the medial side, the nylon straps are covered up by this suede material that has EQT support stamped into it. You've got your flat black laces with an EQT tag at the bottom of them. Underneath the straps is a black piece of suede or nubuck material that wraps up around the shoe. At the top of the tongue, you've got this matte black tag that says equipment, Adidas, and 9317. The tongue itself is kind of interesting because it's only attached on one side, so it creates this burrito-like fit. So when you tighten the shoe, rather than scrunching in the middle, what it does is slide underneath itself. It's an interesting solution to this lacing problem. I definitely prefer it to the scrunching that you get in prime knit NMDs, but I'd rather have a separate tongue. Inside the shoe, you have this synthetic, almost suede-like sock liner. It's got some reasonable padding, but nothing too crazy. The insole of the shoe is in that EQT green with white text. As for fit, the shoe is kind of interesting. I went true to size, which fits me okay, but I wouldn't have minded actually going down half a size. Just because the prime knit around the toe box is so stretchy and so loose, it does feel like there's a little bit too much room, but hey, maybe you like having a lot of space in the toe area. I don't really love it, so I probably should have gone down half a size. However, if you've never tried on a pair of EQT 9317s, I would suggest going to a store and trying on a different colorway, or if you can, try on this colorway, just to make sure that you're getting the right fit for you. Continuing back in the shoe, you've got this TPU smoky gray wing holding the top of the laces in place. Moving around to the back of the shoe, you've got your TPU heel counter in that same smoke gray. Moving down the shoe is where the EQT 9317 really shines. And the reason for that, of course, is the Giant Boost midsole. What Adidas did was take an Ultra Boost midsole and basically put it on steroids and just jack it up and make it really thick. It's definitely a more cushioned shoe than the Ultra Boost, which a lot of people like. It's also only a lifestyle sneaker. You can't really run in this because it's not going to give you a lot of stability, mainly because it's riding on so much boost. Some people think the shoe is a lot more comfortable than the Ultra Boost. I personally don't really feel that much of a difference. It's definitely well cushioned, but I really prefer the support of the Ultra Boost. This time around, Adidas painted the boost of the EQT 9317 black to match the rest of the upper. One thing that kind of bums me out about this version of the shoe is that the three stripe bumps on the boost midsole don't actually line up with the nylon straps. It's not too big of a deal, but they're shifted just far enough off from each other that it kind of bugs me. Finally, moving to the bottom of the shoe, you've got your black webbed outsole, which allows you to see right through to the boost. Overall, the triple black EQT 9317 is definitely a clean sneaker. The 9317s are really comfortable and well cushioned. If you guys are trying to grab a pair of these for yourself, they drop on November 24th and they've also released at some places overseas. They don't seem like they're gonna be that limited, so you shouldn't have a hard time picking these up. Now that we've got the review out of the way, let's throw these guys on feet and see how they look. Make sure to leave a comment in the comment section down below letting me know what you think of the Triple Black EQT 9317 and whether you're planning to pick up a pair for yourself. And as always guys, thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to me, Seth Fowler, if you want to see more content just like this. And follow me in all other forms of social media. The links will be in the description below.